Hi, in this video, I will show you how to use SharePoint REST API to clear a multi-select person group column. So here is my list and my multi-select column is called send to. So let's go and have a look at the list settings. As you can see here, uh, that's a person group and uh, it says allow multiple selections. Okay, so let's go back. I'm going to edit that existing record and uh, adding two values there. Here it is. So how to clear these values using Power Automate? Let's start building the flow now. So for that, I'm going to use an instant cloud flow using the manual trigger. Okay, the next step is uh, for um, updating the existing records, you need to know the ID. So for that, first I'm going to get the ID of that record. Next, I'm going to add a combos to get that ID. So you can see here, that's the list ID I got. Okay, now using the list, uh, the, using that ID, use, uh, then I can use that for the REST API to update it. So for that, there are other ways also you can update it using the existing, um, uh, you know, the standard connector using update item. So this video video is specifically about how to update using the Rust API. So send HTTP request. Again, selecting the SharePoint site and I'm going to use the post. Okay. Now the URI, the URI is again underscore API slash web slash it's a list, so list, then uh, get by title, and uh, then you need to use the title name. So I'm going to use, uh, it's a, there's a space in my, um, you know, list name. So I'm going to use a space here, slash, then we need to specify which items it is, and the item, uh, either I can map the output here, or I can directly map. So I'm going to directly map that. That's the ID. Okay. The next step. Okay, I could delete this now. I don't need that. All right. Now the next step is we need to set some uh, headers. So there are a couple of things we need to set. And I go through one by one. So first accept. Uh, that's a JSON format. That's, a, that's the order we want to put, accept, then the content type, that's again the JSON. Then if match, then the X HTTP method is the merge, okay? Now, to do the, um, to do the, uh, the clear field, we need to pass that in the body. So uh, this is the format we need to do. What I will do is I will put this under my video description also, okay? Now, here you can see that's another JSON with um, single quotes with two underscores you need here. Not one underscores, two underscores. That's quite important. Then another thing you need to remember here is my list uh, is called bank space rec space reports. So that means I need to uh, put underscore x0020 underscore. That's the value you need to replace with the uh, space okay and um, so you can see here I, I have got two spaces there so that's replaced with those values then at the end you need this reserved word that's called the list item so what are your uh, you know the uh, value is you need to at the end you need to put that with the list item so how do I find this uh, you know this is the value we need to pass 
So I'll show you a technique. So what you need here is you probably need to use, uh, you know, that underscore web, web slash list. So here you could go and say uh, your SharePoint site name slash APA slash web slash list. So you'll get, you know, uh, the results there. Then there you can search uh, bank. And uh, see, you can see here, that's, that's the value I got. Here it is. So you need to specify in that format. See that? This is one technique you can find. What's the, what's the exact value it's called? So underscore x0020. See that? And reports list item. Okay. So let's go back. Now the next thing you need to remember is my uh, custom field is called the called sent to. So if you got that, then put sent to. But you can see there is an ID also you need to add. This is quite important as well. The ID also. So ID is also a reserved keyword along with that. Then the value, because it's a multiple values it, it accepts, you need to, you need to set here uh, this syntax also here, like uh, curly brackets, single quotes, results, colon, square bracket, zero. Okay, let's try to save this. So I'm going to set here demo sp clear multiple uh, person group. Okay save it okay that's saved successfully now i'm going to run my flow now okay my flow failed let's have a look ah okay i know that i missed a bracket there that's the reason it failed so let's update that it's my bad so we need a bracket as a syntax you need okay let's try to test this again okay now flow ran successfully so you can see here that same point i used underscore api web slash list slash get by title then your title of your um, list name slash items um, and the brackets with the id okay let's go back to the list so you can see there are two values here. I'm going to refresh my SharePoint list. Here we go, that's gone now. Yes. And if I go into edit again, let's have a look. Just to make sure it's disappeared. Here we go, that's disappeared now. So let's go back to Power Automate. So it's a post operation then that's an endpoint we need to use certain header values remember the hest x http method is the merge then in the body uh, you know that's a syntax you need to use uh, remember that's results zero that's a reserved keyword we need to use and also the id is also a keyword along with your column name then again uh, you know the list name also if you got spaces remember you need to use x0020 underscore as well Thank you for watching.